NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Today's program was furnished by a grant from the Beanery Depot and Deli featuring coffee, made-to-order subs, and snacks. The Beanery Depot and Deli in Mahoning Town. Welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner, everybody. I'm Alex Laverson, and with me live on screen for the first time in a while is my producer that I'm sure is more than happy that the Cleveland Cavaliers have been eliminated from the NBA Finals. The, oh, did you hear that? What? You didn't hear that bell? Yes, oh, I heard the bell. What smart, what smart Alex joke you got now? That's not a smart idea. The timer just went off. Humble pie is done. Oh, well, listen, Angelo. <laughs> Angelo, Angelo. I'm just saying. We that. have been talking about LeBron James for like the majority and of the last two months. Do it. And that's why you're happy. Well, no, 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 no. We will, we will, because if LeBron James decides to take his talents again somewhere else instead of playing in Cleveland, I all day work. Win. Not only us, but I think every. Every uh, media outlet around the world will be talking about the it. The coach so, don't like me. The players don't like me. The people don't like me. I'm doing everything I can. Well, well, well. No, no, no. That's It's nothing like that, okay? Listen, the Golden State Warriors are a team and a franchise unlike anything else in sports history. Remember the 2007 New England Patriots? You know, the impeccable Patriots up until the end of the end of the season where they lost to the Super Bowl. Everyone viewed that as a... What? 88. Eight, no, that's 2007. 88. What are you talking about, 88? The 88 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Impeccable. Went undefeated. You're going off track. Beat the Mountaineers. Beat USC. Beat Michigan. Beat Miami. You see, and they that's impeccable. We, you can't compare these... these Angelo, this is Angelo, This is basically an all-star team versus the rest of the NBA. Okay, listen. Did they lose a game? They've lost. Yeah. Okay. What? All-star teams don't lose. Angela, you're you're missing the point. The point I'm trying to make is that this team. No, the guy that missed the point was LeBron James. He was missing three pointers. He was missing layups. Oh no! This you can't call for fouls. You, you can't even it was say like, that, man. Foul. Charging, Angelo. LeBron, listen. you jumped, you dropped your helmet. Angelo, his stat line for the NBA playoffs, this past NBA playoffs, is unlike anything we have ever seen before. All right, this goes to show that that he's he, far from the greatest player to ever uh, reach the shores of Cleveland. We're, we're not talking about this, okay? I don't care if he's the best player ever or not. Of course, I think Michael Jordan is. Number two no, is LeBron James, didn't. and that's fine. See, right, once again, you're ignoring what I said. And so the because you're going to go off track. Why, I'm, I'm trying ever to, to reach the shores of Cleveland. All right, it is who? It's going to be someone, you know. Otto Graham. Otto Graham. Why? Why? Why, Angela? Not only did he win... An NFL championship. But do you know Otto Graham won an NBA championship? He won an NBA championship. Yes, he did. For and which you, franchise? Cleveland. You feel free to look it up. Okay. I'm just trying to tell you in their old record and books, Otto Graham was an NBA champion. LeBron 
is not a Cleveland. See, I cheer for Cleveland. You don't natives. like him because he. La- you don't like him because he. Loves I him. cheer for Cleveland natives. Brian Sipe, I have no problem with Brian Sipe. LeBron James is the king of Akron. All right, he's the king of Northeast Ohio. He brought a championship there for after that fifty-two year he's drought. Like worn out rubber. <laughs> Angela, LeBron he lost is- his bounce. Angela, he double dribbled. Angela, <laughs> listen, okay. What we have to do now is think ahead, and what to lies take ahead. Take a break from our sponsors. We will take a break and now. We're from our sponsors, but when we get back, this isn't over. <laughs> Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, features many amenities, lush fairways, and great greens and many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. It's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Hey, Angelo Parada here for Croakers, Kegs, and Corks. And if that's not a mouthful, nothing is. But when you need a mouthful of that special brew, it's Croakers, Kegs, and Corks. You know, nothing tastes better than when you make it yourself. And I do some of that brew myself quite often. I like doing it. It's a great hobby, and it's something you can do. Croakers, Kegs, and Corks, low crate located right in Union Township. Give them a try. This program furnished by the Mad Unit. Mobile Auto Detailing. See Michael Sad at the madunit.com One great dining experience. Welcome back to the Cedar Sports Corner, everybody. I'm not exactly Are sure. you still thirsty? Because Tim cut some of our tape out of here. Good. So let me catch you up. No. LeBron did not take the Cavs to the playoffs. The bus driver did. Okay? He has a license from the Department of Transportation to drive the bus. Okay? However... Levo- LeBron did get in charge. Trouble for charging. He overdrafted. He ran into people, knocked them down. He didn't like that. Okay. Then Stephen Curry had copyright infringements. Because they started playing You Dropped the Bomb on Me in Cleveland. Because he was shooting from Vancouver. And they were still going in. Then, last but not least, I asked if people knew McCutcheon. I said, put your hands up if you don't know who McCutcheon is. And nobody put their hands up. <laughs> See, he's speechless. I now, did McCutcheon all- complain and go, well, well, oh my God, they called the foul, they called the strike. Oh, chicken on the hill didn't go over to the fence. I, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying. Angela, okay? Man. And do you know what they had on after oh, that God. game? What did they have? What did just, you, you, you happen I, I, to, I have no idea. this was on NBC Sports. I watched it. Okay? The 88-game winning streak that ended. You know any idea who ended an 88-game winning streak? Notre Dame. Okay, who had the 88-game winning streak? West Virginia. No, West Virginia didn't even win 88 cents <laughs> in the West Virginia lottery. Listen. Penn State? No, Penn State? They can't beat Pitt. Listen. They beat them last season. But... UCLA. Not the upper corner of Long Avenue. <laughs> UCLA in Los Angeles. John Wooden, 88-game winning streak. Bill Walton, 
all the stars that were stars come in against Adrian Dantley, John Shumay, all those good Irish people. And bang, Notre Dame wins. Now, if they would have had LeBron, they would have got called for charging. But see, Adrian Dantley didn't charge into people and knock them down. Okay? And that's my point. We're just going to go straight into a new subject because every time we mention LeBron James, what just happened, happened. So I, I let's forget it. Let's go on to your second favorite player, but from a different sport. Your Washington Capitals won the Stanley Cup, and Alex Ovechkin is a Stanley Cup champion. Yeah. And Angelo, listen, I know you, look, you're a very biased man. I understand it. You're very passionate, okay? But you have to be happy for Alex Ovechkin. He won a Stanley Cup since 2007. He has been in Crosby's shadow since he came into the league. You know, Crosby's always been known as the face of the NHL, you know, won three cups. Ovechkin, this is his first cup, and especially after all those exits and early Andre in the playoff. Andre Fleury went to the hospital. Okay. That, I'm not sure what you're driving at right here. You know, did did you not read that he had to go to the hospital? Why did he go to the hospital? He accidentally watched Cleveland play. He had to go get his pummix, his stomach pumped because he had viewer poisoning because he couldn't believe how bad Cleveland was and LeBron James. And that caused them to get all them goals. Capitals won. Good for the Capitals. Ovechkin sounds like something you ate and threw up the next day. Okay. Sidney <laughs> Crosby sounds like, well, he should be a good guy. Okay, Ovechkin. Oh, I got Ovechkin. Well, take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what I'm trying to say, Ed, is that what I'm trying to say. Say it slow. Maybe if you get a drink. <laughs> What I'm trying to tell you is that it's good for the NHL, okay, that Alex Govechkin is finally at the top. Because remember, and I said this before, when both Crosby and Ovechkin came to the league, they were battling for that top spot. And then Crosby, you know, winning his cups, you know, Ovechkin kind of died down, and it wasn't that passionate rivalry. I think this brings back the rivalry, and I think it kind of gives people a reason to watch the Penguins versus Capitals and not that that's not a game you miss but even before Sidney Crosby won his first cup and even maybe like year after it you weren't missing that game and then the, uh, the six years well, after like it is like uh, used to say oh Angela God she used to say oh Vetchkin go to the market and Vetchkin some vittles <laughs> I think we need a break, or at least I do. <laughs> so we're going to take a break, and God knows what we're going to talk about in our third segment. We're going to plan on talking about something that will end up as, as an Angelo topic or still. <laughs> but now a word from our sponsors. Parkstown Restaurant has been serving the greater Newcastle area with quality and experience in family dining and great entertainment. Their superb menu includes sides, wings, pizza, sandwiches, Italian entrees, American entrees, soups and salads. Parkstown Restaurant located at 2800 West State Street, Newcastle. Eat in or take out. Also, call Parkstown and ask about what's on tap for entertainment. 724-656-1453. 656-1453. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. These fine businesses provided funding for this program. Gatherings, Town and Country, and On Target. Corner everybody for our second segment, I was mistaken. Which is easy for you to say, but this is really our third 
I think it was, I think it was more wishful thinking on my part. I was <laughs> wishing it'd be the end of the show for our last. Does segment. anybody really know what time it is? What time is it, Angelo? <laughs> um, it's five, it's five, time to talk about baseball. Time to talk. It's time Thank to you, talk buddy. about baseball. Yeah, well, the Pirates are back under 500, seven games out of first place. Yeah, we've been saying this for a while it was going to happen. Yeah. But you know, listen, Angelo, I'm, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I'm not shocked. I'm not anything. It's just to be expected. It just know? took till the middle of June, which is impressive in a way. I mean, imagine if they, even if they could find a way to stay above 500 till the end of the season, that is a marvelous achievement for them, considering. The off season they, they had. They wouldn't stay above 500 if they found a piece of driftwood in the Allegheny. <laughs> I mean, I like these guys, but geez, oh man. Yeah, I mean, you you said on last show that you think one of the reasons why the Pirates uh, started to underperform uh, recently was because that people picked up onto their pitching cues. So why don't yeah, you explain the, the scouting? It's the scouting. You know, see that. Here's what happened. Oh God, the scouts had to let the girls into scouting too. Uh huh. So everybody started scouting the pirates, and then all of a sudden they went right down. <laughs> That's exactly. Yeah, I mean, look. Like, if that doesn't make sense, I don't know what else does. <laughs> I mean, I mean that everybody started scouting them. Yes, that's exactly. They're going, hey, these guys are in first place. If we don't start taking this seriously, you know. I yeah, don't. and then boom, just like that. But, Angelo, at least the Pirates have the most beautiful ballpark in the MLB. And that goes to another question I had. We talked about this before. Do you go to PNC Park, buy a baseball ticket, enjoy the game, or are you going to be like a decent chunk of the Pirates? Now, enough of this playing with the camera. You keep mentioning the Pirates, and it goes... uh, down three and you're out. <laughs> I think the camera gets so bored and puts it. I think it puts it to sleep. Yeah, it's a it's a pirate camera. It went three and out. Mm-hmm. But Angela, the point I was trying to say before our technical difficulty is: are are you on page with the rest of the pirates fans in terms of boycotting nutting in PNC Park and not going to a game? I always boycott the nuts. You always boycott the nuts. Okay, uh-huh. he's a nut. Okay, now. We've been airing something really, really great. Really, really fantastic. And then Mother Nature went and interfered. Oh. It was formerly North County Baseball, now the Beaver Lawrence County Semi Pro League, mm-hmm. which has been tremendous baseball with Castlewood, the Downtown Jacks, uh, the Broadhead Bombers, which have a glorious tradition. They have a, not as great as Notre Dame, but the Broadhead Bombers. Right there. Now, that's been the baseball that I've been watching. Aside from Jordan Jaskowski. Go ahead. Well, I'm I'm not familiar with... I don't know what you want me to say. He watches NCTV 45, and do you know who he plays for? Iowa. The Los Angeles Angels. He's a pitcher. He was drafted by the Dodgers, went to the Astros, and he's with the Angels now. Didn't you say he? Didn't you say like he went to Iowa for college or something like that? I never said he went to. Okay, Iowa. now you he, know how I feel when you. Now he off. is outstanding in his field, mm-hmm. but he's not a farmer. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. You have, a, have to think about that a little bit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> listen, um, Angela. Oh, I, oh, here's a can of corn. Yes, Angela. Yeah, no, I have. And um, Angela, I gotta be honest. I'm so. Yes, that's that's really what it was. And Angela, I am so. I'm just so sick of baseball, man. I'm so. I'm just so over it. You know, I'm. But actually, baseball becomes a lot more palatable if you do what I do. And what do you do? I go to Cedars. Now I'm just saying, not because they spot. I go to Cedars. I get a nice cold beverage. I get some Chibolte barbecue because they're very good with their Chibolte barbecue. Mm-hmm. 
and I just sit there, relax, and, uh, you know, me and my son, we have a great time. Now, if baseball isn't so bad if you watch anybody else but the Pirates. And then that seems like the truth. Okay, now, for instance, if you were watching the Mets and the Braves, you're okay. You have no problem. If you're watching the Rangers and the Dodgers, you have no problem. If you're watching the Yankees and the Nationals, no problem. Well, no, still, though, I mean, out of 162 games, you know, there's no urgency. You know what I mean? So, like, let me, like call me when... There is. There no, is urgency. Not. Call, listen. When yes, I can prove game, there's urgency. Prove it. Okay. You're on the mound. I mean, it's the middle of the, the second. You're pitching. Okay. The bases are loaded. There's a full count. And you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> now there's urgency. You well, gotta throw a strike. Listen. Or there's gonna be an accident in the middle of the stadium. Well, I do agree. <laughs> That's an urgent situation. See the now he said there was no urgency. It's not urgent for the viewers <laughs> no. to watch. Oh, the only, it would be real ugly to see the only somebody thing out more, there in a white pants and stain. Well, the only thing more urgent that I can think of is when Joe Paterno crapped himself on the sideline of the Penn State football game. I think I, it was. He was going there. I think that was it. Wasn't that against Ohio State or something like that? Uh, I, that was a while ago. I'm not even touching that one. No. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I, I never sw say swear words. You know, I always oh, talk about Notre Dame. That's all we say. You don't, yeah, you don't say swear words while you're on. The camera's on. <laughs> Behind the scenes, it's usually, you know, a lot of expletives and things okay. like that. But no. now with all, seri with all seriousness, though, um, well, since um, I'm not, I mean, I like baseball. I'm not going to claim to be a baseball fan. Now that the NBA is over, I mean, I'm kind of, and NHL playoffs are over, I'm kind of, you know, I'm really. 21-17. What? What about that score? 21-17. What about it? Notre Dame beat LSU. That's... I'm sure everyone who is going to watch this, I'm sure everyone I was craving to, to know, know that. I know they wanted to know it. Yep, I'm sure that's... Because, exactly. you know what? If you didn't know that, you'd have so many other questions. I have a lot of questions, Angelo. Go ahead. It's like where you drop on your head when you were a child. That's the first question I have. The second question is, is it time for a break yet? Yeah, it could be, but we have to go then. What? Are you are you tired? This is the end of the second segment. No, this is this is actually the third. So we're on the third segment. That's it. Okay. Well, okay. thank the Lord, this is the end of the third segment. Then. Just so you know, the schedule, I was asked this the other day. Michigan, first game. Okay, and then after that, Ball State, Vanderbilt, Wake Forest, Stanford. You know what schedule is even? Virginia Tech, Pitt, Navy, Northwestern. No problem until you go Florida State, Syracuse, and USC. Angel, you act like Notre Dame goes undefeated every year. They're everybody's national title. They're everyone's national title. Listen... One team that won't be competing for the national title is the, is the Cleveland Cavaliers. We, well, if LeBron leaves, yes. No but, title for Cleveland. Listen, ESPN has put out a rankings for the hardest college football schedules of the year. Pitt was number one. Pitt has the hardest college football schedule this year. That's easy. Why is that easy? Because they have no players. Naturally, it will be hard with no players. No players. Listen. See, you don't I, even, I'm calling it right now. Pitt upsets even, Notre Dame. You don't even stand behind LeBron. What are you talking about? LeBron was complaining he had no players, but you didn't give him any credit. See, I gave him credit, but he still stinks. No. Listen, LeBron <laughs> deserves all the credit in the world from bringing the carrying the Cavaliers you to the NBA finals. You can't get all the credit in the world when you're charging all the time. <laughs> oh man, Angela, there, there's no, there's no compromising with we you. We better just get. We you. better, yeah, we better wrap this show up. And I want to thank everyone um, who viewed this episode of this hey, Mike, Sports Corner. Good seeing you. 
Wave to Mike DeStefano. He's a good guy. I do, Mike. Sorry you had to watch this today. Pray for me. Anyway, um, that should do it for the this episode of the Cedar Sports Corner. And Angela, do I dare say, is there anything else you want to put in before we end the show? Here come the Irish. Here come the Irish. Pitts upsets Notre Dame next year. A special thanks to the YMCA for caring about the Lawrence County community and providing funding for this program.